Yes, thank you. Um, I was given a copy of the Quran. I've been reading it. Um, I was quite shocked to discover that quite a lot of the Hadith material um, is is very, very late. Some of it is from the Middle Ages. Um, and I was wondering, you know, why? What, um, ca can we trust it if it's so late? Um, for instance, the earliest documents of Bukhari are from the um, 14th century, from the 13 from the 1300s. Um, that's seven seven centuries after the six. Uh, you know, seven. That's very very late. Um, could you? Would you be able to explain why? You know, how can I trust it? Well, um, I think uh, it's, uh, you know, for example, there are so many uh, uh, things which have happened, even, you know, uh, are, are, and are still happening, are mentioned in Quran. Um, uh, a lot of embryology, how the fetus develops and things like that. It's mentioned there, it only came to note, you know, not so long back. So um, I don't think that is. Uh, I think it's. Uh, you know, there's so many things, uh, uh, and again, we still don't know. You know, it's difficult. Could, to could you hold the phone? Track. Could you hold the phone away from your mouth because it's very hard to understand you. If you try oh. ho holding it away. Right. Uh, well, uh, what did you understand so far? Um. Is there any textual support um, for the Quran or the Hadith that they are reliable documents that can be trusted? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, uh, the books themselves are um, <laughs> testament to the original reality. I mean, the, the, it's, uh, Quran has come. Uh, it's was a... Uh, direct sort of uh, uh, messages from uh, God to Muhammad peace be upon him and via Angel Gabriel Gabriel who was bringing the various messages it's really hard to understand you it's really really hard to understand you are you holding the phone are you holding the phone right on your mouth move the phone away from your mouth I am not I'm not, no. and I think okay. you are you are uh, echoing as well. You know, uh, sort of coming. Uh, maybe the line, line is bad. Okay, um, sorry. Yeah, yeah. You, I, 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 what you say is also sort of echoes in turn. It sort of goes uh, up and down. So I think that uh, it's uh, you know. Uh, so I think um, uh, all the message that the, I felt the hadith is concerned. It is uh, again a collection of what uh, Prophet Muhammad, which be upon him, has said, which has been uh, uh, compiled. Can you prove that? And, uh, can you can you yeah. can you can you prove that? I mean, use Al Bukhari as as the example. Al Al Bukhari yeah. died in 780. Now that's two and a half centuries after Muhammad's death surely whatever he has to say is irrelevant because he lives he lived two and a half thousand miles away from from mecca and he he lived many many years two and a half centuries after muhammad died that's when bukhari died um he has yeah, nothing think, yeah, there, yeah, so yeah there is a science to understand it you see i think uh it is the uh, whatever it's a collection people used to sort of travel do you do you know when that collection miles, yeah hundreds of miles to yeah. collect to, to find out uh what was said and what was not right said. Do, you, and, uh, do you do you know when the first document we have of bukhari's hadith is is dated sir no i don't i don't right it's about the 1300s that's the 14th century Okay. That's seven centuries after Muhammad supposedly lived. And Bukhari didn't 
get into its final nine volume edition that we have today they kept adding to it um it didn't get into its final present edition until about the reign of queen elizabeth the first that's about 550 years ago in the mid to late five five hundreds um what is written so late after muhammad is surely irrelevant it's it's just tradition from the ottomans that they're putting back on this figure that they've built up of muhammad but it's not historical well, I, facts. I, 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 I don't think so. I think uh, um, really sort of you know, uh, twisting the things around. Uh, uh, there is clear, uh, it's been clear uh, all along, uh, the traditional, how, how the, mess, the various uh, things were compiled uh, and what the tests were given. If so, anybody in the family will tell a lie, that whatever you said, uh, that person is not, uh, it, it was not included. And in fact, uh, you know, they are called weak hadith, daif. Whereas that, uh, that uh, sahih hadith, which is correct, are, have passed all those tests. But, but they're now, all uh, weak, surely. Surely all of them are weak hadiths because they are seven centuries after Muhammad supposedly lived. They're just right. tradition well, uh, that's yeah. been put on the Muhammad story to give um, a background to Muhammad. And they did this in the Middle Ages, many centuries after Muhammad supposedly lived, even if if he even did exist. Yeah. How long did it take you? Uh, how long have you been reading the Quran for? I, I was given a Quran nine months ago. Yeah. Well, I, I think what I would suggest... Uh, uh, co to contact uh, uh, a sort of a recognized scholar, you know, who will be able to, uh, uh, I mean, uh, perhaps uh, um, uh, Umar Suleiman in America is uh, very uh, well read and very, uh, you know, knows all about everything. Uh, perhaps uh, um, you could contact him and he's. I wouldn't quite, uh, know how to, uh, and I wouldn't have the money to make an international phone call. But you're very well, welcome you to pass my details on for me. Send an email. Send an email to him uh, and he will respond. You're very. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know what his email address is. You are very welcome to pass my details on for me. I give you full permission. My name is Robert Skinner. You've got my telephone number. You're, you're more than welcome to pass that on to whoever you think appropriate. Well, I'll, 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 I'll uh, try to do that. Um, uh, and obviously, uh, they probably want to know your email and things and how they will contact you. I'm not going to talk by via email. If anyone's got anything to say to me, I'm not typing thousands of words on email um, because people don't even read whatever you write. I hate email. I hate texting. I prefer just to talk to people. Um, another problem I have would be the Quran itself. Why are there different editions of the Arabic Quran? I'm not talking about translations. I'm talking about the Arabic Quran. There are over 30 Arabic Qurans. For instance, at Quran chapter 10, verse 16, Surah 10, Ayah 16, the Hafs Quran says he would not have made it known to you. The Kunbul Quran says he would have made it known to you. These Qurans are both in Arabic, but they read differently. And there are thousands and thousands of differences between the various Qurans like this. I'm really, really puzzled at this, sir. Well, um, uh, as, as I said, I, I, I think uh, I, can, I can see uh, um, uh, what you are what you are trying to do. Uh, I What's that? To leave it at that. I will. What I will do? I will try to write to Omar Sulaiman uh, with your telephone number, yes. and um, hopefully he will contact you. Thank you very much. Th thank you. What am I trying to do? You said I'm trying to do something. Oh, oh well. <laughs> 